up guys welcome to this vine be vines today we want to talk about the power of the written word uh, last week we talked about the power of the spoken word and if you've not seen it please go back and watch it so that way you learn how to be careful of the words that come out from your mouth it is really really important for you to be careful of what you say Okay, so now this week we're going to talk about the power of the written word. Because nowadays, right, we text a lot. <laughs> and then we, so most things we write down. So it's like you reply to message and people read it and things like that. So that's not only the reason why we're talking about the power of the written word, but that is part of the reason. Because I see on social media, a lot of times that people write some kind of things like, they, to them, they think it's just comments, you know. It's just a comment. It's nothing serious. I'm just commenting. So then they write something that they don't because they they don't understand the power of the written word. Just the same way most people don't understand the power of the spoken word. But mostly, when it comes to social media, people write just for the sake of it. Sometimes they're just trying to, you know, just while away time makes them fun. Obviously, nobody can see you. They don't know who you really are. So on social media, you see lots of people that just write in just commenting sometimes they're just trying to pull someone's leg or they just want to insult someone maybe they're having a bad day and they just want someone else to have a bad day so then they say something just to rouse someone up but sometimes they do not like it's not sometimes i feel like people do not understand the power of the written word so that's why sometimes they just write anything they don't understand the power of words words are, are very very powerful where they're spoken where they're uh, written that's why when you write it's called spelling what is spell? <laughs> okay. Now I'm not going to go that deep into it, to be honest. But first of all, I'm going to talk about maybe the first period that I still hearing about the written word, written word, written word. Or when um, there was a period of time, I think about three years ago or four years, about 2017, 2018, everywhere you turn to is like one person or the other talking about you know meditation and the importance of meditation and then there was this thing called the thing i call it repetitive <laughs> meditation i don't know what they actually call it where they say a particular word like what you just keep on saying in like something over and over and over again and just because only that word for a period of time and then people were saying even people like opera i think were saying how important that like how you can use that how um things like that can change your life and you know whatever you want but most people are saying they were doing it 20 minutes a day one hour a day blah blah and i'm like hmm, you know i'm very skeptical with some things i was like okay but i'm not a meditating person neither am i a yoga yoga person so all these things i never really i never did them and then there was this period so during that time when all this whole meditation thing was becoming very very the meditation has been something that people have been practicing obviously for centuries but for some reason it became mainstream so as this meditation uh i'll say meditation craze well it's not a bad thing it's a good thing to meditate but as this meditation craze was going on then um the whole writing thing you see people were saying oh i wrote this down i wrote it down you write it you keep it by your wall blah 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 and then you see the things change but then i was like another thing okay but in 2019 i moved i was living with uh, a friend like i was renting a room in her flat so during that period she was telling me about she told me, she's like, write what you want. Try what you want. I always write what I want. And she's like, I write things that I want for the year or for a particular period. And then when you go back to it, you just see how the things have happened. And I'm like, huh? So then me, I was like, okay. She kept on kind of like bugging me on it. So I was like, okay, let me just do it. So one day I took paper and pen. And then I wrote down things that I wanted before the end of the, like before the end of the next year. Because this was like kind of almost end of 2019 so i was like okay before the end of 2020 so then because it's already one who almost the year was ending so there was no need for me to write before the end of 2019 i didn't want to write unrealistic things you know so then i wrote things down that i wanted so then i wrote them down one like you no know, just step by step and by a time i would have achieved this 
my sister told me I would have achieved this. Before the end of this, blah, 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 I would have achieved this. So that was it for me, though. And then I wrote it, and I put it um, by the wall. But I didn't, like, pin it or anything. So what I did was the mirror, you know, the mirror, this thing. So there's a mirror there, so I just put it by it. So that so whenever I wake up, I see it. Sometimes I read it. Sometimes I didn't read it because I'm rushing or whatever. But it was just there, and I knew what was there, right? So long story short, by um, the end, before the end of 2020, I still realize that almost everything that I've written, either they have happened, I've achieved them, or I'm in the process of achieving them. That means like these steps have already been taken towards achieving them already. Either it's already been achieved or I'm in the process of achieving it. So, um, to be honest, when those things were happening, I didn't even think of a big deal about it. And then, I think I've said this before, there's um, this person I know. His name is Werner. He normally sends every uh, Monday, he sends something called a Monday Motivation, which is really, really good, right? So, there's this time he sent something and in there, in, in it he said something about he always quotes what people have said or he explains something you know but one of the things that was in that particular motivation i don't even know what the topic of the motivation was anymore but i remember that that particular word stuck with me when he said i think i've said this before something related to this in one of my previous videos he said that your mind is like a soil so when you plant when you put things in your mind it's like you plant them and then they grow so like your mind is your subconscious soil i would say it's not like maybe they didn't even say it was like a soil this is how i understand it so that the case is watching this i said that's not exactly how i said it that's how i understood it so it, it's like your mind is like your subconscious soil you know it's like um you know you notice that when you think about something someone you start dreaming about it Sometimes it could be like a revelation, like, you know, you're seeing something that is maybe good. You know, the dream is going to come to pass or it's something that is leading you to a direction. But sometimes it's just because you've thought about it so much that you're just dreaming about it. So it's the same thing as your mind. So like when you write that and you keep it where you can see it, whether you're reading it every day or you're not reading it, the fact that your mind already knows what is there. And subconsciously, your mind starts, it's like, it's like, um is a plant like seeds or grains of and um, seeds and however you want to plant the plant normally is seeds if it's fruits but it depends on sometimes it stems or whatever that you take to plant but now whatever you needed whether it's the seed whether it's the stem you've already planted it so the moment you're reading it like you're seeing it day in day out just passing through or whatever it's like you're watering it so now your subconscious is putting things in place setting things in place for it to actually happen i am telling you try this and see if it's not gonna work i don't care what you think how ridiculous it is write it down and when you're writing another thing i would say is this right when you're asking ask exactly what you want so when you're writing what you want to achieve write exactly what you want don't write uh, half asked of what you want. You know what I mean? Like if you want, um, like you want the business, don't just say I want the business. Say what business you want. How you want that business to grow. Where the location of that business is possible. I know that might be long writing, but try and really, really define. You might not even write it down, but in your own mind already define exactly what you want. Then when you say, I would have started my so, -so, -so business. Now you know the business, where, the location, all the stuff. So when you write that down, anytime you read it, deep down inside, you're seeing the location. In case you don't want to write a lot of things, you know, you're seeing the location, the everything that you want of that business to happen. So today I just, because I just wanted to talk about, to touch on this. Please, as much as you shouldn't speak negative, you shouldn't speak things you don't want to happen. Don't write things that you don't want to happen. Don't write negative either. There is a reason why either spelling or like, you know, like writing or saying it's called like if you want to maybe uh, spell a word, like you want to, what's the word, what's, how can I explain spelling without using the word spell? <laughs> 
how do you do that okay if you want to uh show someone the alphabets that you put together to make up that word <laughs> here comes the words with that spelling okay then you call it spell so whether you're writing it down or you're saying it, it is called a spell so spelling i'll leave the rest for you to think about it so please write down what you want whatever it is write it Say what you want positive into your life. Continually feed yourself positive, but your mind too. Your mindset determines. It's like you can be the most, let me not say brave. You can be the most intelligent person, but if you don't think you're intelligent, then you would just have that talent or whatever gifts you want to call it, but it would not be in use. Because when they ask who can do this, you, say, you will not say you can do it, so you will, it will never show. Okay, I have one more story because I like to tell stories. <laughs> There's this girl. I still don't know who I'm talking about, but nobody else will know who I'm talking about, so that is good. Okay, there's this girl, when we were growing up, right, we were quite little, but she was already grown. She was like an adult choir and all that. And she was one of like the, you know, back of the court big girls, right? And most, she was not like very beautiful, but she was, um, how would I say? Oh, I don't want to say like she was not like... Okay, there were people that are obviously more beautiful than her. But she was seen as one of the most beautiful. But that was because she carried herself in a certain kind of way. You know? So it's kind of like... You know when people say uh, confidence? You see some people say confidence is sexy, confidence is attractive, confidence... But confidence is what makes you beautiful or not beautiful you can be seen as beautiful like obviously if you're beautiful people can tell that you're beautiful but if you have no confidence someone that is not as beautiful as you might be seen as more beautiful just because of their confidence so confidence go a long way so she saw herself as the ish and she was the ish because she saw herself like that the way she carried herself the way she walked the way she talked like whenever we have to do anything like like so they break and then you have to sleep and wake up. You never see how her face, her normal face. I'm not saying that people should not show their natural face. But she never did. Like before everybody's waking up, she's already washed her face maybe or put some more makeup on it. But it doesn't matter. She carried herself as the ish and she was the ish. So does that make sense? So it depends on what you think. So that is like the mindset thing. So as much as we talk about the words and all that, your mindset. So the reason why written words, spoken word, whatever you see, whatever you hear. At the end of the day, you are what you see. So you're what you watch. What you read. What you listen to. What you surround yourself with. So that's why you have to be careful of the kind of movies, shows, television you watch. To be honest, reduce the rate at which you watch all those television channels that keep showing negative, 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 negative news. Reduce the way, the rate at which you follow all them blocks that when good things happen, you don't see, but it's just the negative, 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 negative. I'm not saying that you should not see them, but reduce the way you see them. Same way, reduce the way you listen to, what kind of music you listen to. Do you notice that music can change your mood? It's kind of like you can listen to a music like if it's a sad music you can just automatically become sad just maybe even if it's for that moment of you listening to it it just you know so all i would say is um be careful of the things that you, you know i mean what you the words that you surround yourself with whether it is seeing it reading it listening to it all of that just be careful and the imagery you know what i mean that you expose yourself to because it does determine who you know, it determines who you are. They say, show me your person, I'll tell you who you are. But show me your surrounding and the things that you watch and the things that you, then I will tell you who you are. So if you want love in your life, then read love novels. Like just download them. Nowadays you can get Kindle. Read all those words whereby, you know, things just happen from, the, you know, all those like cliche or <laughs> like the ones whereby you're like, oh, this is cringeworthy. Just, if that's the kind of love that you want, then read them. Read those books. Watch those movies. Watch, uh, watch Hallmark movies, you know? All those kind of things. Just watch them. Read them. Oh, surround yourself with them. The sound, the music you listen to should be about it. And love will come into your life. 
So it depends on what you want. So surround yourself with what you want. But this writing thing, I'm telling you, it works. So try it. And I'm a doubting Thomas on all these kind of things. So I did try it just because someone, you know, like, you know, when someone is bugging your life and you're like, let me just do it. But then, and it was just there. But I didn't know, like, unconsciously what my subconscious was doing for me and how, I don't know how it works, to be honest. I don't know how the universe, I would just say it's because he plants it and then now it's growing. Well, I don't know how the universe works and how all these things work, but it did work. So all I'm going to say is that try it. And if you try it, let me know if it works or not. Like in the next year, go come back to this video if you watch it and then comment and tell me. If you've done it before and it's worked for you, let me know. But if you've not done it and you're trying it because of this video, then come back and comment and let me know how it went. I would love to hear your testimonies on it. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys some other time. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Seriously. Like I do have some viewers. That I think they watch most of my videos and they've not subscribed yet. Please subscribe. And if you don't have a Gmail account, open a Gmail account and subscribe. <laughs> okay. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you some other time. Bye.